They talk microphone. There, there should be no strike on this microphone, no. Yeah, the young lady asked me about uh, the CBN vis-a-vis uh, -vis the NLC and uh, the meeting we held yesterday. Yes, the Nigerian Labour Congress wrote us to say that uh, the cashless policy is affecting Nigerians very badly, and that among these Nigerians is affecting that their members are affected. You know, in industrial relations, we have what we call dispute of rights and dispute of interest. When it's just your interest, you can make a dispute, especially overseas. When it is your right, especially with direct, you, their direct employers, so to say, over wages, over condition of service, and your right. So, whether it is a dispute of interest or a dispute of right, we have different interpretations as per by ILO. So, we normally like, as a ministry, as conciliators, to always apprehend any dispute, whether it's dispute of interest or dispute of right. If you want to go into uh, some parlance now, you will say that that's, this is a dispute of uh, uh, interest. But they have veered it into that it's affecting their members and their work. And rightly, rightly, they are very clever people. They wrote me. Because trade dispute matters in the Constitution, second schedule, item 34 is the sole prerogative of the Ministry of Labor and Employment. It's on exclusive legislative list. So the leg National Legislature, National Assembly, and the Ministry of Labor, representing the executive, are the sole people that handle it. So when they did that, we had to forward the letter to the CBN governor and told him in our own letter that he should act promptly because they gave a deadline. The deadline expired uh, last Friday, and we acted before that Friday. And we asked the CBN to also act before that Friday. So I, we did that before I left for Geneva. Then my permanent secretary and, uh, and my minister of state, all of that followed up. And then the CBN did the right thing. Because we were inviting them for a meeting yesterday, which is Monday, that same Friday, they made contact with the uh, leadership of NLC and opened up the discussions. It was part of the, the discussion, which is social dialogue, which is what we ad advocate that when you discuss, you will not go to war. You will not go to strike. You will not go to picketing. You must resolve something on the table. Because even if you go to war or you go to strike, at the end of the day, you must come to the table. So. There and then the CBN assured them of certain things they would do and assured the ministry of certain things they would do. And they kickstarted them immediately, which is to give more uh, cash, bigger volume cash to the money deposit banks or the commercial banks as we call them, for them to dispense to, to their customers. And even other that uh, the bankers, the banks uh, should work on Saturday and Sunday under their supervision. And that is ongoing because uh, I saw some uh, banks open on Saturday by the time I came back, and even on Sunday. So now they have all answered our call because we are the chief conciliator. We had to call everybody to the table. And then in calling them, in my opening remark, I said, I noticed that there is already a dialogue going on and there is also implementation. And the Nigerian Labor Congress agreed that there's uh, some thaw, thawing of uh, the freeze or uh, icing that was there. And so 
that they will now call up their National Executive Council meeting because the initial decision to give that ultimatum was given by this same council. Members of this council reside in the states and in the local government so that they will come up today, which is Tuesday uh, the 28th, to review the situation. But as much as it is, the important thing that we have emphasized to them that we have apprehended this dispute. And by section 7, 8 of Trade Disputes Act, once the minister apprehends and starts conciliation on it, you maintain status quo and tabellum. So they are gone back now to review the situation. If they are not satisfied with what they are saying, they will come back to me. And I will invite the CBN again. But for now, the issue of discussion is no longer strike. It's the issue of discussion is implementation and how far it's gone and how far it affects Nigerian workers and the general populace. So that is it. So the final decision will be done today by NEC, and they will then uh, do a resolution. Of course, and inform me and CBN what their resolution is. But like I said, we have uh, apprehended and we are now conciliating. It's not a major conciliation anymore because the two parties on their own have started the dialogue and started the implementation. So we are now umpires and monitoring. So I can assure you that the right thing will be done today in the NEC. Thank you. That's the first question. You talked about the incoming administration, and now we say we can help them. Yes, we are, like I said, it's the same party. That makes it be even better. And uh, we are doing our notes, handover notes, and doing uh, the transition uh, committees. The transition committee have been kick-started. They are visiting MDAs for you to give your handover notes in which you also will propose things for them and even talk about your challenges. We have done uh, the first batch of interaction with our own group, comprising um, N, uh, economic, uh, NASG and AHO. Yeah, transition train station in the office of the SGF. So we have done the first round. We are going to do more rounds. We, and whatever is left, we put it in the, uh, uh, <clears throat> in the notes. Industrial dispute, you say, what are we going to do with them, the incoming administration and the industrial dispute? No. Industrial dispute must exist. It will always ever exist. As I was coming back, the pilot and the crew that were bringing us back, Say they will now spend five days in Abuja. I say, why? They say, because the German uh, airport people say they will not work on Monday and Tuesday. But that's how it's done there. You will choose the days and inform your employers. Because once you kickstart an industrial dispute of strike anywhere, the principle of employer keeping his industry alive, kickstarts too. In Nigeria, they call it no work, no pay. It is in our statute, it is in our law. It's section 43 of Trade Dispute Act that the employer will keep his money and use it to keep his industry afloat. And that the, uh, the worker will not be paid remunerations. And that if the union wants, that's an ILO convention on principles of strike, the union can pay their workers for those periods. And that's why the, the period of strike in other climes, in Europe and the rest of them, have definite time that it will be done because the union will be paying from their union fund, or what they call strike fund. They keep it in, in, in their budget, it's there. So if you're going on strike, your members will agree with you we're going on strike. And members will agree with you on what the remuneration will be for the period of the strike. It could be 80% of their normal remuneration, so they forfeit 20. 
just for them to go on the strike and make their point. You, everybody, you have a right to strike, but the employer also has his own right for, to protection, self-protection, self-preservation of his industry and self. So this is what is there. So we will only hand over the Trade Dispute Act to the incoming administration. And the next labor minister who will be handling the disputes that they come. Will the disputes come? Yes, why not? Condition of service. There is an increased cost of living, even in Europe now. Most of the agitation is uh, for increased cost of living. But they are asking for pay rise that are realizable. 5% pay rise, 10% pay rise. Unlike here, when people are asking for 40%, 50%. So that is what is there. So the incoming administration will also use the laws, the enabling laws, the constitution, the acts, the various acts, and then uh, handle trade dispute. But more, more importantly, as we are living, President Muhammad Buhari is making it easy for the incoming administration because uh, the issue of uh, pay rise, especially for cost of living, is being addressed. You know, nearly uh, holistically. If you watch the newspapers or uh, the media, you will read about them. The pay rise increases all over. The issue now is what quantum. Even the so-called uh, ASU strike that uh, happened, the, 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 the logjam was on, on the percentage increase. And that was why it didn't uh, last year that long, because uh, 